Petrified Forest National Park. America's badlands are hardly restricted to the Dakotas. A great sprawl of badlands colors northern Arizona, site of Petrified Forest National Park. Located in Navajo and Apache counties in northeastern Arizona, this park's 220,000 acres are all above 5,000 feet. Forests frozen in stone, a magnificent gallery of natural art. It is hard to believe that this bone dry terrain was once swamp some 225 million years ago. Tropical forest with tangles of steaming green overgrowth. Fallen trees floated in waters rich in minerals. Logs covered with mud and sand jammed. When they surfaced, the tree's wood fibers had absorbed large amounts of the minerals in the water. In time, mind-boggling stretches of time, the trees turned to stone. Sometimes, embedded in the petrified wood, caches of semi-precious stone await discovery. Amethysts, jasper, and quartz of different colors. The treasure trove here is unsurpassed in variety and abundance. Most of the region is accessible only by foot. Short hiking trails explore colorfully named areas. Agate Bridge, now propped up to prevent its collapse. Crystal Forest is so named because many of the logs found here contained clear quartz and purple amethyst crystals, making for beautiful logs. A few crystal logs remain that survived early souvenir hunters. Giant Forest is where you'll find the largest logs. Be sure to check out the Agate House, a petrified log hut built by 16th century Indians. Other areas are so fragile that hiking is not allowed. Blue Mesa and Jasper Forest. Originally, this park was set aside because of its forests of petrified trees and logs. But there's more. Dinosaur footprints preserved in stone. Fossils of prehistoric plants and animals. These have been unearthed turning this forest of dead stone into a living scientific laboratory. There is, within the borders of Petrified Forest National Park, a unique preserve, a very special place. Early Spanish explorers named it El Desierto Pintado, the Painted Desert. It might be said that the Painted Desert resembles a moonscape, except the moon is colorless. Here are these blistered shapes, crags, buttes, gnarls, mesas, are saturated with color. A focus of park activity centers on a restored national historic landmark, the Painted Desert Inn. Its murals were painted by a well-known Native American artist of the Hopi people, Fred Cabotti. The Depression-era Civilian Conservation Corps created fixtures, from lights to chairs. Today, the inn no longer takes guests. It functions only as a museum and gift shop. There are mementos a visitor can take home from Petrified Forest National Park. Jewelry, kachina dolls, souvenirs. But there is something about this park that will linger in your memory. And it doesn't cost a penny.